Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to design and laser cut custom tokens and location markers for Arkham Horror, the card game. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And in my last episode, I showed how I made these custom card boxes for Arkham Horror, the card game. I made this ivory acrylic version, and I also made a wooden version. In this episode, I'm going to continue to upgrade this version of the box by adding custom tokens, custom chaos tokens, which is uh, what the game uses instead of dice, and these investigator location markers that I think work better than the small cards that come with the game. So I'll talk about how to make all of these in this episode. If you've seen my video on making tokens, you know that my favorite is to do rear engraved tokens on fluorescent acrylic 3 16 inch thickness. So that's what I'm using for the basic tokens here. I have red lines for cut lines and blue lines mean engraving. The tokens are inspired by the game tokens, but they're all original art. They often start with a black and white clip art image that's then image traced and then enhanced with lines drawn using the pen tool. This is the single health token. This is the larger three health token. The three is reversed because these are rear engraved, so anything that's directional has to be flipped over. This horror token uses a brain image I had from my Netrunner tokens, and I also have a large size of that. That three in red is going to actually be cut out of the token. I learned something new in this project. I found this great font called Poor Richard, which really matched the look of the game, but I learned that some fonts cannot be embedded, so when I took this to my laser cutter, it did not have the font available, and I had to use the substitute font in my final tokens, so be aware of that. These are the chaos tokens, and I used the same background for all the numerical ones, but I had a slightly different background for my image chaos tokens. I had already drawn the elder sign for my card dividers in my last project, but I had to come up with new ones. The skull is actually from my Gwent board, so I had that available. And this was an original, The Cultist. I brought in a photograph and I drew over that with a pen tool. The tab, broken tablet, that was also new and I just kind of drew that because that was easy. And this one started as a black and white clip, piece of clip art that was then image traced and then modified as was this elder monster. My investigation location markers require a little bit of 3D thinking. This is the centerpiece. It's done in the same color acrylic as the card dividers. It has a piece of ivory that's going to be on the front and the back of it, and the base is going to be ivory. The symbols were all already drawn for the card dividers, so I just had to pull them in and size them inside of that green circle. That blue line there is actually an engraving line that I'll use to position the ivory pieces correctly. And I do like to have those engraving lines to show me where to fuse things when I'm doing assembly. The actual cut line for that side piece is done in red on a separate layer because I'm going to be cutting that out of ivory. And I have to cut 20 of those for my 10 markers. And then this is the base. I wanted to have one of those engraved lines to show me where to position the part on top. I drew a top-down view of the three parts and then I picked Pathfinder and said unite them. I always start by cutting one token. I decided the image on the left was a little too large and I made it smaller before I moved on. My laser cutter lets you say a number in the X dimension and a number in the Y dimension to create a matrix of tokens and I usually do that to fit into a space because you see I use my acrylic very efficiently. I've gotten a lot of tokens out of this 12 by 12 inch piece. The chaos tokens are double sided tokens and so they're special because first of all you leave the paper on both sides of the acrylic, you raster engrave and cut them, then you move them down so you can put the cut piece of acrylic back in, you're using it as a positioning template for the second side. So you put it in place and then you carefully one by one put the right token back into the right place because I have four different designs in this particular run. And then I'm going to rerun the same job but I need to turn off the cutting so I go into manual, I pick the red line, I go to the mode and I say skip 
and then I tell it to set that, and if I've done it properly, that red line now says the mode is skip, and it won't do the cutting. So it'll just do the engraving and the rastering on the opposite side. When I get home, I put everything that won't be painted into a jar of simple green. This will soften up the adhesive so I can remove the paper. I take an extra token and I begin my paint tests and I learn that I need to do two coats to get it dark enough to see easily. The painting can be a little tedious, but it's pretty simple. The hard part is getting the paper off. I use a wooden chopstick to help me get that off without damaging the acrylic. I use the Citadel paints I use on my miniatures for my tokens. And then I, after I've stripped the paper off the basic tokens, I put them in some clear water for a while to get some of that simple green smell off of them. Assembly of the location markers is pretty easy. I just use those engraving lines to help me get things positioned properly. And it takes about two minutes to use the fusing liquid to put this all together. So I used a lot of ivory acrylic in this project because I wanted these to match my acrylic box. But I'm also going to make a set to go with my wooden box. And for those, I'm going to use this 1 8 inch thick solid, not plywood, solid hardwood in a light color so that the engraving shows up clearly. I'm going to engrave the chaos tokens. I'm not going to paint them. I'm just going to let the images stand on their own. And I'm also going to use it for the base of the location markers. And the only other difference here is that when I assemble these, I need to use wood glue instead of acrylic solvent. I think you can see why I like the 3 inch fluorescent acrylic for my basic tokens. They just glow. And the ivory chaos tokens look very professional. The location markers are compact, and I think they're fun. They make a great upgrade to a great game. I have a lot of other great projects for gaming and gamers, so if you're interested, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.